In this video, I'll show you how to easily create a kitchen in Blender using Archipack Pro and how to make a basic render using a free add-on. First, delete everything. Go to the Create section, select Kitchen and add a floor cabinet. Then, go to the Archipack section and select Edit Parameters. Choose a frame with bevel and customize it as you like. The parameters in the main section will be the same for all the cabinets you add and you can always modify them even when the kitchen is complete. Once you're satisfied with the design, go to Cabinets. Here you'll find the list of every cabinet. Change the type to Full. Expand the section, adjust the width and add a left baseboard and a left sideboard because it is the first cabinet on the left side. Increase the number of doors to 3 and adjust each one accordingly. You can modify for example the door type and the height. Duplicate the first cabinet, change the type to floor, remove the sideboard and modify width and doors. Duplicate the second cabinet and this time add an oven and a cooktop. For the next cabinet, duplicate the second one and move it using the arrows instead of starting from scratch. The process remains the same. Duplicate or remove each cabinet using the plus and minus icon, change the type between floor, full or wall, move them using the arrows and modify them as desired. You can also choose a corner cabinet, in this case it is a corner right. In the next cabinet add a dishwasher and a sink. For the remaining floor cabinets, duplicate, move and adjust them. Next, we'll add some wall cabinets. Duplicate the last floor cabinet, change the type to wall and click reset to align it with the first cabinet. Move it next to the first cabinet, then duplicate and customize the cabinets as we did for the floor ones. Above the cooktop, there will be three doors and change the first one with a range hood. Above the sink we'll have a window, so add some cabinets with the type empty space and the last one is a normal wall cabinet. Then increase the Y dimension of the floor cabinets 10, 11 and 12. Next, add a camera, center the view and press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 to move the camera to your view. Then go to view and enable camera to view to adjust the view as you prefer. You can also enable some composition guides in camera properties and change the focal length, in this case it is 30mm. When you're happy with the result, remember to disable the camera to view option. Now let's create the room. Press Shift A to add a plane and make it 30 cm larger than the kitchen. Right click and convert it into a curve. Then go to Create, Wall from Curve and select Generic 30 by 300. Go to Archipack, click the key icon and add Floor, Floor Moldings and Ceiling Slab. 
Next, add a rail window and customize it as you like. Choose the main dimensions, the number of leaves and whether you want a handle or not. In the last section, you can modify the frame and add curtains and blinds. To add objects, materials and HDRIs, you can use the free version of Render Kit. Go to Render Preview, Enable Cycles and add an HDRI. In Shading Mode, you can adjust the power and position of the HDRI to control the lighting in the scene. To do it, change Z Rotation and Strength. Next, add two rectangular lights to improve the overall lighting of the scene. Before adjusting the kitchen materials, I suggest duplicate them in the material properties and then you can assign them directly in the material section of Archipack. To enhance the view, go to Render Properties tab, Management, Look and add some contrast. Then add a cube and modify it to create a wall finishing. Go to Render Kit and choose the tile material you like. In UV editing mode, you can make an easy UV unwrapping with the automatic cube projection and then scale and move it accordingly. Choose a marble material for the countertop and modify it in shading mode if needed. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's add some assets from Blender Kit. Sort them as free first, choose the ones you like, drag them into the scene and edit them. Check the video description for links to other kitchen tutorials. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time!